What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a thumbnail for free using Pixlr. Now before we start, you may have noticed that I got a new intro made by my friend Sim Designs, so it would be awesome if you could check him out, and also let me know what you think of this new intro, and with that being said, let's get started. So the reason I'm going to be using Pixlr to make the thumbnail is because it's a really simple software, it's free, and it also requires absolutely no downloads. Now there's a ton of free photo editing softwares out there that you can use, but Pixlr is just really quick and it works on all devices, and you don't need to download anything, so I thought this could help out a lot of people. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make an account. If you haven't already, there's going to be a sign up button here. All you have to do is click sign up, put in your email and password, and it's going to create an account for you. Once you make your account, just scroll down and you're going to see there's three versions of Pixlr. Now we're going to be using the full Pixlr editor, which is called the Pixlr editor. So we're just going to click on launch web app and it is going to open up the platform. Then we're going to create on click on create a new image. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it thumbnail and make sure the width is set to 1280 and the height is set to 720 and the check and the transparent checkbox is checked and then click on OK. Now you can easily move the tools around just by dragging them as you can see. So I'm going to drag the tools to the left and then just make the artboard bigger so you can see the entire thumbnail. So the thumbnail is going to be everything that is checkered over here. Now here you can see the history of everything you've done. This is the navigator so you can zoom in and out. And then the layers box is where you can see the layers. And at the top you can edit anything you like. So the first thing we're going to be doing is adding a background to our thumbnail. So we are going to head over to Google Images and just search for thumbnail backgrounds. So of course you can search for example for a blue grunge, red grunge and get a grunge background or you can search for a radial background or a sunburst background. Just make sure the size is larger than 1280 by 720 so the image does not get stretched and you don't have to lose any quality to it. make the size bigger. Now I like this image over here and it is larger than 1280 by 720 so I like it. Then I'm just going to click on view image, right click, save image as and save the image as whatever I want. I'm just going to call this thumbnail PG. There we go. So now we're going to go back into Pixlr, go to file, open image, and then just open up that thumbnail image. And it's going to open up as a new file. So just make sure that file is selected, click on control A, then click control C, and then go back to the main file and click control V. And using the points here, you can move it around. And we can close the previous file because we don't need it anymore. And we can just click no and there we go so we can position the thumbnail by moving it around with the pointer tool and we can also resize it by going to edit and then free transform and as you can see we can edit the actual thumbnail image so let me just uh don't apply the changes let me zoom out go to edit free transform once again and as you can see you can just resize it to how you see fit and that looks good to me there we go that's perfect and just click on the background and then click yes to apply the changes and there we go now you can also add some more effects to the background by going to you know filter and just adding a blur a sharpen and just add any effects that you see fit best now I want to make this a bit darker so I'm going to be adjusting the brightness and contrast which is under the adjustments tab so just go to adjustment and click on brightness and contrast and you can make the brightness a bit lower this is just the text stands out more when I put it in then just press OK and we're good to go. Now we're going to add some sort of an image to our thumbnail. So we're going to go back into Google Images. Now, of course, this image can be whatever fits your thumbnail. So I'm just going to look for an epic face and make sure it is a PNG file. So the background is transparent. So I like this one. And as you can see, it has a checkered background. So it's transparent. Click View Image, right click, Save Image As, and make sure that the file is once again a PNG and then click Save. Then go back into Pixlr, go to File, Open Image and then open up that file which is called epic face now to copy and paste it in just press ctrl a ctrl c and then go back to the main file and press ctrl v now with the pointer you can once again move around the file or the image just make sure that the layer is selected of the image and then with the pointer tool you can just move it around so i'm just going to put it right here and then you can go to edit free transform here you can also make it bigger you can hold shift so that it keeps its proportions so I'm going to make it a bit bigger and then you can also tilt it like that and just transform the image. That looks good. So I'm just going to click over here and then click yes to apply the changes. Now the final thing we have to do is just add some text to the thumbnail. So we're going to click on the text tool over here, click on the layer and this dialog box is going to open up where you can type in any text you want. 
So I'm just going to uh, type in, you know, like epic thumbnail. There we go. And here you can select the font you want to use. And it even uses the fonts that you've already downloaded to your computer. So I'm just going to use Adobe Apache. Here you can set the size of the text. So I'm just going to make it 130. Make the style, hmm, we'll make it bold. And we will set the color. There we go. Click OK. Click OK. And then we can move everything in the selection tool again. So I'm just going to move the text down here and move the image up a bit. And there we go. Our thumbnail is now complete. Now, of course, if you put more time into it, you can make it look nicer. This is just a quick example on how you can use all the tools you need. But yeah, that's about it. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.